tonight, George is having a sleepover with Edmund Elephant and Richard Rabbit. All right, everyone. Time for bed. Don't worry, Mummy. I'll make sure they all go to sleep. Thank you, Peppa. <laughs> Come on, then. Into your sleeping bags. Quick march. <laughs> Peppa likes being in charge. Well done, Peppa. Good night, everyone. Good night. <laughs> Only joking. <gasps> you can't go to sleep yet. There's lots of fun things you have to do first. <gasps> George has never had a sleepover before. He is very excited. First, we have to have a midnight feast. Ah! Ooh. Oh, you've turned into ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> I know a spooky story about ghosts. George, Richard and Edmund love stories. This is a ghost story about a muddy puddle that wasn't muddy. Ahem! Paranormal apparitions, or ghosts as they're commonly known, do not exist. It is scientifically impossible. Edmund is a clever clogs. He doesn't believe in ghosts. Can I tell a story? Um, OK. Ahem. Once upon a time, there was a giant pig and a, a very small rabbit. Squeak, squeak, squeak. And they chased each other forever and ever. <laughs> the end. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good story. Oh, I've got another one. This one is about... George, Edmund and Richard have turned into ghosts again. <laughs> Silly George. Oh, do you know what's next? Yay! We have to stay up very late until, um, 100 o'clock. Ready? Oh. I don't think George understands sleepovers. <laughs> How's everything going, Peppa? They're fast asleep, Mummy. Well done. I think you've earned a midnight feast. Hooray! George and his friends like playing sleepover games, but they love to sleep. Pretty cool, eh, Peppa? <laughs> We're getting shoes for George, not you. Oh, yes. Today, George is <laughs> buying some new shoes. Hello, Miss Rabbit. We need some new shoes for George. <laughs> George's shoes are very old. Well, you're in luck. The shoe shop has lots oh. of shoes. We'll find George the perfect pair. Hooray! First, we need to measure your feet. Pop your foot in the measurer, please. <laughs> Miss Rabbit is measuring George's feet to help him find shoes that are the right size. Your feet are very small. That's because George is a baby. <laughs> no. George is not a baby. Follow me. <laughs> oh. We keep all our very small shoes over here. Which shoes do you ah. like? George? Shoes! Those are bowling shoes. George loves to oh. go bowling. And he oh. loves bowling oh. shoes. Are you sure you want those shoes, George? <laughs> shoes! Shoes! Those are tap dancing Aha. shoes. Aha. They're very noisy! George loves to make lots of noise. Maybe too noisy. <laughs> shoes! They are clown shoes. Uh -huh. George oh. loves clown oh. shoes. <laughs> They're too big. And George is very small. Uh, uh, shoes! Shoes! <laughs> 
George tries on lots of shoes. Tall ones. Little ones. And even silly ones. But none of them are quite right. George, they are not shoes. <laughs> shoes! These are just like your old <gasps> shoes. Shoes! George would like ah. new shoes ah. that are just <laughs> like his old <laughs> shoes. Jolly good. We'll take them, please, Miss Rabbit. Miss Rabbit? Phew! I'm under here! Oh. Shoes! George loves his new shoes and he loves the shoe shop. Everyone loves the shoe shop. Hmm. Peppa and Rebecca Rabbit are making a pillow fort today. Careful, don't fall on the fort. Almost got it. Whoa. Squeak. We did it. Now we need to decorate the inside. Uh, hmm, something else is missing. Oh, oh something, something to eat! eat. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy! What a beautiful pillow fort! Can we have something to eat, please? Of course! I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Let's pretend the pillow fort is really big inside. <coughs> wow! <laughs> Catch, Peppa! <laughs> Let's pretend the floor is really bouncy, like a trampoline. Squeak! <laughs> it's so bouncy! <laughs> bounced over there. Let's bounce after it. Uh, uh. This floor is green, so let's pretend it's squelchy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the ball isn't here. Maybe over there. <laughs> <laughs> this room is blue, so let's pretend it's cold. There's the ball. Hooray! L let's get out of here. Um, which way did we c come in? Peppa, where are you? We're lost in the pillow fort. I'll come get you. No, Mummy. The fort isn't built for grown-ups. Oh, I can fit through anything. Uh, oh, uh. Mummy Pig is stuck. Oh. Uh, uh. Mummy, your wiggles are breaking the fall. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> For you. Oh. All that pretending has made me even more hungry. Good thing I brought you some food. Now, we just need to find it under these pillows. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa and her friends are at the cinema. They've just watched a film called Vegetables in Space 2. <laughs> Don't worry, Pedro. I'll save you. Everyone enjoyed the film so much, they're pretending they are in it. Vegetables in space at my house. Yes, yes, yes please. Please. <laughs> Everyone is very excited to get dressed up for the game. Pedro Pony is an astronaut. Susie Sheep is a robot. Gerald Giraffe is an alien. And Peppa is a space hero. Let's go outside and pretend we're on the moon. Hooray! <laughs> Follow me! Pew, pew! 
Peppa and her friends are imagining they're on the moon, just like in the film. Everyone has lots of fun pretending to float on the moon. Oh, good idea, Gerald. We can use the rocket cars to drive around. <laughs> oh dear, there aren't enough rocket cars for everyone. Do you want to ride on my car, Susie? Buzz, buzz. Susie is pretending her boots are rocket boots. Now everyone has a fun way to explore the moon. Sandwiches for lunch. Everyone loves pretending to play on the moon, but everyone loves lunchtime even more. <laughs> Today, Peppa and her friends have come to a special adventure park. Come on, Edmund, you can do it. It's really fun. <laughs> Oh, well done, Edmund. <gasps> this room has a balance beam. You have to walk across it without falling into the ball pit. If you all keep working as a team, you'll get all the way through without falling into the ball pits. I'm good at balancing. Follow me. Now, George, Pepper and Edmund Elephant must cross the balance beam. But Edmund is finding the balance beam a bit difficult. Try going sideways, Edmund. We can do it together. Hooray! Everyone has made it across the balance beam. Now they must swing across this room. This looks tricky. It's just like the swing in the park, Emily. Watch this. Whee! Pepper is very good at swinging. Hooray! Hold on tight, George. <laughs> Here you go, Edmund. But Edmund Elephant is feeling a little nervous about it. Why don't we go together, Edmund, as a team? Good idea! Whee! Hooray! We did it! Thank you, Emily! Everyone has made it across the big swing. Good teamwork, everyone. One room to go. <laughs> this is the final Whoa. room, but there is no way across the ball pit. We can't jump that far. And there's nothing to swing on. Ho, ho, ho. This room is a bit of a puzzle. <gasps> Nobody knows how to solve the puzzle and get across. Oh. I've got it. But Edmund Elephant is very <gasps> good at puzzles. <laughs> I'm a clever clogs, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone has made it through the adventure park. That was very clever, Edmund. Edmund? And Edmund Elephant can't wait to do it all over again. Today, 
Peppa and her playgroup are at a juice factory. Ah. They're learning how juice is made. And this is the fruit squeezer. It squeezes all the juice out of the oranges. Can I try squeezing oranges, Miss Rabbit? Of course. You can all try. Hooray! Everyone is having lots of fun squeezing the oranges. But it is very hard work. <laughs> My hands are tired. That's OK, because next up, we have the juice stomper. Oh. The stomper has big boots to stomp out all the juice from the strawberries. Oh, can I try stomping, Miss Rabbit? Yes, everyone can try. Hooray! Pop these boots on and stomp away. <laughs> It's just like jumping in muddy puddles. Well done, everyone. Now, follow me. This is where the juice is put into cartons. We have to match the flavour with the picture on the cartons. What flavour is this one? It's red. Is it strawberry? Well done, Mandy. Press the red button to fill it up. And how about this one? It's green. So... Apple! <laughs> Spot on, Susie. And this one? It's... Mm. Lots of colour. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Peppa. You've created a brand new type of juice. It's rainbow juice. <laughs> Everyone thinks the rainbow juice looks very delicious indeed. This is the tasting room. It's where we make sure all the juice tastes scrum diddly -umptious. Ooh! But to make it fun, you have to guess what flavour each juice is. Peppa and her playgroup love tasting <laughs> juice. This is orange uh -huh. juice. Mmm. <laughs> this is apple juice. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. This tastes like all the juices at once. That's because it's your special rainbow <gasps> juice. Yum, yum, yum. Peppa loves learning about juice. And Peppa really loves her delicious rainbow juice. Oh dear. There, there. Today, Peppa has found a video of when she was a baby. <laughs> I was a very loud baby, wasn't I, Daddy? Ho, ho. Yes, all babies are sometimes. Gosh, oh. that must have been when I was pregnant with George. Pregnant? What does that mean? <laughs> That means he was still in my tummy. <laughs> oh, I have an idea. <laughs> what are you doing, Peppa? Look, now there's a baby in my tummy too. Oh, <laughs> very good, Peppa. Now, what do people with babies in their tummies do? Hmm, I used to get lots of funny cravings, which are when you really want to eat certain foods. Mm -hmm. Yum! Peppa oh. has decided she has a craving too. I really want to eat... Oh! Spaghetti! <laughs> Peppa thinks cravings are delicious. <laughs> <laughs> ah! That was very yummy. <laughs> what else happens when you have a baby in your tummy, Mummy? Well, I'd get tired a lot. So kind people would offer me their seat so I could sit down when I needed it. Hmm. <clears throat> Hello, Pepper. I have a baby in my tummy and I'm very tired. So you need to give me your chair, please, Daddy. <laughs> Gosh. right -o. here you go. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> and sometimes my feet would hurt. So Daddy Pig would give me foot rubs. 
Peppa likes the sound of foot rubs. Daddy, my feet are hurting, so I need to have a foot rub, please. Oh, well, not a moment to lose. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> a little here. And a little Daddy Pig's foot rubs are more Mr. like Fox? foot tickles. <laughs> oh. oh. There's one more thing that happened when Mummy Pig was pregnant. What was it? Eventually, Ooh. a baby came. Auntie Pig has brought Baby Alexander for a visit. Hi, Baby Alexander. I was pretending I had a baby oh. in my tummy. But now we can pretend that you're my baby. <laughs> <laughs> Real babies are quite noisy, actually. So I think I'll keep my cushion instead. Oh. oh. Phew! Wow! Oh, oh goodness! Oh, what's, this? what's this? Today is Arts and Crafts Day at Peppa's Playgroup. I have many fun <gasps> arts and crafts planned for today. First is painting. Ooh. But where are the brushes? <sighs> They're right here. No one is sure what Madame Gazelle means. Where? <laughs> I don't see anything. We're doing finger painting. Instead of brushes, you paint with your hands. Hooray! Peppa and her playgroup <laughs> are enjoying making their finger paintings. A lovely flower, Peppa. Thank you, Madam Gazelle. What a wonderful butterfly, Susie. <laughs> Thank you, Madam Gazelle. <laughs> oh. And Danny, that's a marvelous puddle. Whoop. Thank you, Madam Gazelle. Whoop. Danny is jumping in his painting just like a real muddy puddle. <laughs> ah, brilliant idea, Danny. We'll do face painting next. Everyone is getting their face painted. Susie is a butterfly. Danny is a zebra. Freddie and Emily are a tiger and a fish. And Peppa is green. I'm green. <laughs> oh! That gives me a fantastic idea. Madame Gazelle has brought over a big ah. canvas with tape on it. What's that, Madame Gazelle? Why, it's a beautiful picture, of course. But I don't see a picture. That's because it's not finished. Each of you take a bottle of paint and splatter as much as you like <laughs> onto this canvas. <laughs> well done, children. Get messy, have fun. Try not to spill on the floor. Everyone is having lots of fun painting on the big canvas. It's beautiful. I love it. Me too. Hmm. But I still don't see a picture. Aha! You will soon, Peppa. Madame Gazelle is taking the tape off the canvas. The tape has made the painting into the shape of... A star! Peppa loves the lovely star, and Peppa loves Arts and Crafts Day. Stop! Today, Peppa and her family are walking to the duck pond. But there's a big metal barrier in the way. Sorry, folks. The path is closed. But we're almost at the pond. Huh? I'm afraid it's much too slippy. Whoa! <laughs> Just follow the diversion signs with the bright red arrows. Won't take you long. A diversion is when you have to go a different way. Come on, everyone. It'll be an adventure. See you soon, ducks. <laughs> Here it is. Oh. Peppa has found the first bright red arrow. 
And another. Huh. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> and another. <gasps> hmm. Oh! Huh. <laughs> but the next sign has fallen down. Wakey, wakey, Mr. Sign. Ooh. Nobody knows which way to go. Hmm. Do we go left or right? The right way sounds right. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> uh, are we lost? We're not lost. We just don't know where we are. When you don't know where you are, you are probably lost. Uh, um. Look, oh. a duck. Hello, duck. <laughs> Excuse me, Mrs. Duck. Do you know where the duck pond is? What a spot of luck. Lead the way, duck. This is a duck trail, Daddy. We must all waddle like ducks. We're going to the duck pond, big wiggle whack. We're going to see the ducks go quack, quack, quack. We're, We're going, going to, to the duck pond, pond big wiggle whack. We're, We're going, going to see the ducks go quack, quack, quack. Peppa and her family have made it to the duck pond. We did it! Yay! You took your time! I bet you're glad you took the diversion. Yes. It was much more fun. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> and much less slippery. Pepper and Susie are pretending to be police officers. Police officers. You're welcome. Now we must get back to solving crimes. Nino! Nino! Oh my! What is it, Madam Gazelle? I think my special pen has gone missing. <gasps> this sounds like a mystery. Ah. Don't worry, me and police officer Susie will solve the case. <laughs> Peppa and Susie are looking for clues to find the special pen. They're using a magnifying glass to make small things look bigger. Aha! Purple. That's the oh. same colour oh. as Danny oh. Dog's T-shirt. <gasps> Have you seen oh. the special pen, Danny? I don't think so. Well... We'd better take you to the police station to ask you some questions. Peppa and Susie have made a pretend police station so they can ask everyone questions about the missing pen. <laughs> it's made from books and pillows. This police station doesn't even have doors. It's a nice place to read, though. Peppa and Susie are asking everybody about the special pen. Oh. They've brought Candy Cat to the pretend police station. Candy Cat, can you remember what colour the special pen is? Hmm, red? No, green. Actually, pink. No, uh, blue. Aha, uh -huh. you've been very helpful. Let's take a big look around. The special blue pen must be <gasps> hidden somewhere. Pepper and Susie are searching everywhere for the special pen. Ow! But they can't find it anywhere. <laughs> I can't find it anywhere. Hmm. I have an idea. Now, Madam Gazelle is answering questions at the pretend police station. When did you last see your pen, Madam Gazelle? Well, let's see. I used it this morning, then I put it behind my ear. Oh, my! Yay! Madam Gazelle's special <laughs> pen has been behind her ear all along. We found it! <laughs> we solved the mystery! <laughs> Hooray! Thank you for helping me, Peppa and Susie. 
I think you would make very good police officers. <gasps> <laughs> 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 <laughs>